All right, what's good? What's good, man? It's your boy K Camp back at it again with the SYSBM Chronicles, man. And I got a small message, and um, mm-hmm. I have Dread Michelle on the screen, man. And uh, this is going to address a brother's preferences and body type because you have some people, or a lot of people online, getting mad that black brothers. Or, you know, basically choosing what they like, right? But this is really to address you, uh, some of you, not all of you, but a lot of you other races of women who have this mindset of you think just because you're just now, you know, growing, growing your booty and all that and whatever, you know, being nice to brothers. And I'm not going to speak for all of us. I'm going to speak for myself. I got to tell y'all something. Y'all don't get a pass, okay? And this is the reason why. For centuries, okay, other most races of women outside of the so-called black women who a lot of these brothers call the scraggle daggle or big booty bimbo, whatever the hell. These same type of women, y'all try to, y'all basically said that them having a uh, fat ass was them being obese and oh it's you know that's not you know holy whatever you want to say oh that's y'all are just you know Jezebels whatever you want to say bro y'all have looked down on women who have who have had curves naturally y'all have looked down on women who have had curves naturally for centuries and now all of a sudden y'all disrespect a lot of brothers by thinking like we're these animals and objects. Like, oh my God, it's a Becky with a fat ass. And we go, that's not how a lot of us think, okay? A lot of us genuinely do not think like that. So for those of you, for you women who do think like that, cut it out. And I mean that in the most serious way. Because I do have preferences, but given the fact that a lot of you white women, whoever, Asian women, a lot of y'all still act a certain way, and y'all are just, and it's not just y'all. It could be it could be black women, it could be Mexican, whoever. Women like this, in, just in general. But mainly talking to you other races, of women, stop coming up with these dumbass narratives that oh y'all just you you y'all are obsessed with big booties and whatever. First of all. A lot of us always found that attractive. I don't find skinny women attractive at all. Okay. And that's a problem with a lot of this stuff, man. That's why SBM is about building families. This is not about worshiping white women or damn whoever. This is not about fetish and nothing. This is about <laughs> truth and facts. That why y'all think I go so hard for a lot of the Assyrian women? Assyrian women who took the time out to contact me about these issues as well. And I'm talking about on a physical aspect as far as just aesthetics. Because now all of a sudden you got white men and other races of men. Well, we like big butts too in a slim way. So now all of a sudden it's acceptable when it's y'all. But when we do it, it's a problem. No, I'm not allowing it. See... Y'all going to, a lot of y'all, truthfully speaking, you're going to give homage. Are you going to give credit to where it's due, man? All right. All that, and for the record, a lot of you talking about you wouldn't date a hood rat or or big booty bimbo, man. Let me keep it 100. A lot of you dudes are not from the trenches, okay? There's plenty of chocolate thick beloveds who don't act like that or who don't act like sexy red or damn Sukiyana. a lot of you dudes literally just watch tv and you come up with narratives and you follow this i'm not even gonna call it steer i can't call it stereotypical because a lot of you men and women you, you're missing so many factors environmental factors social uh socioeconomic factors i mean history it's a lot of things that tie into why you know, certain races of women are built the way they're built and act the way they act. 
But you people and you other races of women, especially some of you, some of you, y'all watch these damn rappers and these singers who damn sold they soul or whatever you want to call it. They're doing all kinds of nonsense. They're literally puppets. But then they'll use them and say, see, uh, uh, y'all are hypersexualized. The black woman is hypersexualized because she's twerking, not even knowing twerking is actually an African custom that goes back to voodoo. But y'all are so damn incorrectly competent. But then if, if let a Mexican girl, let a damn white chick, let a damn Filipino, let y'all have some booty, then I don't hear none of that. Where they're not twerking out there. They're not doing this. And okay, but you're still not you're you're still not getting credit for the for that type of body. That's not how you're built. Just, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I have a whole page dedicated to this type of content. And the same thing for any curvaceous woman that's built like that naturally. That is the weirdest thing how you have a lot of men who, for centuries, oh, let's see, you, you black brothers, y'all just want women because it is. First of all, a lot of you dudes are not, you ain't smooth. Y'all don't keep it real. Like just actual women on my on this page that comment from time to time that actually agree with me. If any damn thing, black women showed me the most love and nurturing. Okay, I wasn't in the SYSBM for uh, uh, so-called white women or whatever. I just post those videos for brothers who swing that way. I don't swing that way like that. I really don't. I don't. Because in reality, look at Steph Curry. But in reality, the world we live in, we still have to work around y'all. And I'm not interested. I'm sorry. I'm not interested in Becky's and their damn daughters, bro. Y'all have done too much damage. Your grandfathers, your great-grandfathers, were we not all like that? No, I don't want to go through it at all. We got to work around this type. We got to work around you mofos. At least the same type of women who come from this bloodline. Not, not just them. It's a lot of racist Spaniard-ass Mexican girls, too, that act like that. They look down on either women with curves are people of color. And it's like, what are you doing, man? Well, you don't got to put other races down while... No, I'm not doing that, bro. But honestly, I don't even owe y'all an explanation. But this is just to address you other races of women who feel entitled and think because... Well, you, you know, you think you're in the hips down there. That is... I'm not a damn rat, bro. Like that isn't that doesn't automatically mean you're attractive. It's levels to attraction. I just need y'all to know that. All right. And some of you guys too. On the flip side, now now I'm gonna I'm going to address a lot of these so-called SYSBM guys who's fake about it. <sighs> just because a woman is feminine and skinny as hell, that does not mean she's a good woman. Repeat that again. Just because she acts feminine and is skinny does not mean she's, she's a good woman. She can be a narcissist. She can be a mind manipulator. See, y'all have to stop coming up with these one-sided narratives, dude. Okay, so I addressed that. That's up and out the way. Stop creating these narratives. Because I'm not going to be with a woman I'm not sexually attracted to. That's just what it is, man. And for you women with no damn morals... They got ass and titties. I'm not talking to you either. So anyway, stop. Stop with this rhetoric. Y'all are not getting any type of credit for having big booties and bodies now, man. And a lot of you guys, like I said, SYSBM, which I don't really focus on that like that. This is not about a, a hating so-called black women and there's, and there's different races of black women. Got to put it like that. Okay, for you idiots out there, for you white girls, I don't rock with y'all like that. I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry, I don't. Just just because you grow your body, you still rude as hell. You still fucking prissy. No, no motherfucker, no. Now for you brothers who swing that way, that's your problem, bro. But don't be a hypocrite. And, and well, it's eighty twenty, it's eighty twenty. But you're going around here looking for. A promiscuous woman of another race, bro. Like, it, it, no, 
that don't count. But anyway, I'm not going to rant for long. And if you get your feelings hurt, then so what? I don't I don't want to blend in with y'all. I don't want to. I don't seek your love, approval. I need me a shouty. Everything else y'all talking about don't matter. San Antonio, fuck y'all. Shout out to Houston. Where the flavor at, man. Cause these these Spaniard ass women, they these motherfuckers trash. Trash, man. All they do is drink beer, damn groupies and go to bars. Like, bro, no, man. Those are not the type of Latinas I'm talking about. I'm talking when I t- when I say Latinas on the side note, I'm talking about the indigenous. Brown like the brown brown ones with with the Aztec noses, with the slim with the curvaceous figure, or you can tell who's indigenous and who's really not. And just because your mama so-called Hispanic, that doesn't make you a real. And first of all, Hispanic come from Spain. Like it's so much. It's so much stuff I can go into, bro. But yeah, I'm not. Yeah, San Antonio. No, it's only Houston on up. Cause these these motherfuckers here, man. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. Just nah. But anyway, it's your boy K Camp. And I'm finna sign out, man. Y'all do not get no type of credit whatsoever. I'm headed out, man.